Live, live feed for the signal ain't good enough, so uh, we're going to do this on video and upload it later. We've got the 12,000 pound winch getting the work out, trying to pull that out the river. That battery don't sound good, does it? I hope it don't flip over backwards. No, it ain't gonna flip over. That winch cable won't let it flip over. But when we go down here, you just, we're like skiing in the mud. Oh, shit. Oh. And there's the beautiful Trinity River after a good rain. Gar still rolling. Boats coming on up. What was that? It's all right. It's all right? It's all right. Well, that's your boat on the end of it, so I ain't worried about it. It's going to have to be all right. We wasn't prepared for this today. No. Oh, shit. I made it. What you laughing at? <laughs> there y'all get a front row seat in the boat being sucked up. Picture, picture, We're going to have to double line it again. Rolling up on that side. Either that or yours is coming up a hell of a lot easier than mine did. Of course it is. What does it do if you let off to go down or is it? Go get slack in it and yank it over when you go down. There you go. You got it. it ain't gonna work? You got something we can pry with that cable? You got the pay string. What? Pay string. <laughs> That's the back of a gore fishing truck. You know, the hook this thing in that Chevy and pull it out. This forge thing ain't gonna do it. Shit. I don't think a tractor will do it right now. We walk over here and see what you got in your truck. Golf club? What the hell is he gonna do with a golf club? Yep, they had a successful day on the river. All right, let's try this thing in the truck and get it out of here. This what? Let's try these trucks together and get it out of here. It ain't gonna go nowhere. Go. We're both gonna spin. Winches balled up on one side. We're gonna have to fix it. I'll have to turn this phone off and we'll have to do some hard work. Look at that big joker just rolled right there. Woo! The one I just caught in relief. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we got a solution to our problem. We got a strap going from the wrench and bumper to this guy here <coughs> that had the right idea to uh, run the strap to the cable with the come along so we can pull the winch over where it'll spool up straight because we're getting it all on one side so are you going to back up on this or what how do you want to do it let's tie it off on that brain chain right there tie it off right there right there 
See, when you come and fish with us, you get to teach it's us It's an things. experience. An it's experience. not just fishing, it's a learning experience. It's an adventure. That's right. <laughs> Is that it? I hope that knot will come out when we're ready to get well, it. Well, that's why I did it like a. Uh, anyway. Should. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> blade, blade, blade. I think I need some snowshoes or something. Let's tighten the winch up. Right here. Yeah, let's tighten that up first. Well, we gotta have the uh, we gotta have the charger for the battery. All right, here we go. It's tightening up now. And we are putting a bind on it there. Try and move it over up there. You got it. You got it. All right. Now what? Hope that slides. <laughs> it's sliding. And he come out to watch. Whoop. I gotta let go. And there's the boat coming on out. A while ago there was so much mud on the tires they wouldn't even turn. Coming around the cable. Yeah, it's going good. So is this what you call fishing Texas style? Yep. Yeah. Uh, redneck gar fishing. Gotcha. You got to go where the big ones are. Coming on up. Cody, we moving on up. Oh, my hands muddy. Look at this. This is working great. Couldn't be no better, could it? Now we got a problem. Now we're going to let off. Okay. Hey, you take that strap off, you think? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's you want me to take that? Where? Love. Shit, crazy. You got to go fish where nobody else can get to. That's where you find the big ones, right? Yeah. No, no, we didn't think. That's right. Oh, how did we do? Fantastic. Eight fish. I'm sure River Monster, if he sees this video, he's going to want to come down here and see how it's really done. Right? He's already been here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, he knows what's good. Wait a They didn't document all this. Oh, yeah. Here. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, so am I. I'll walk up. Uh, wait 30 minutes, it'll rain again. Is, is this boat heavier? I don't know. I think mine is because it's full of mud. It's a of it.
truck pulled up enough to unhook his chain. I didn't have him recording a while ago. Who wants the video of this? Uh... Well, I'll do it. You pull up on unhook that chain. Okay? We got it out. It was an old Duramax. Oh, it wasn't a Duramax doing that. It was all Ford right there. Duramax, all the way. All Ford. Don't listen to him. <laughs> all right. Cody's boat has been painted with river mud. Let's get the hell out of here. I got a smudge. I think. That's better. Yeah, this is this is normal everyday gar fishing. Gar fishing at its finest, right here. There you go. Do it. Everything. All right, y'all. This sums up our. Reality Gar Fishing episode, Garzilla Guide Service. We safely made it back from the Trinity River and, and can't wait to get out and do it again. We uh, want to go home now and clean up and get the mud off everything. As you can see, the, the boats are covered in mud. We got to change clothes. Cody's truck. Well, what do you got to say, Cody? That's how we do it down here on the river. We make it happen. You got food in your whiskers. Uh -oh. Yeah. That's no, better. It, oh, you just it. it. That's better. That's all right. That's how we do it. That's how we do it.
Till next time, this is the end of the Gar Reality Show. Talk to y'all later. Man, look at your reels. Jeez. Oh, I got a couple. Of, oh, I, got, I got one of your floats, too, I need to give you. Yeah. Yes, Here, try these floats out. Let's try that now. Just think about it. Uh, you like it. Give it a shot.